got a six. Sean, sure, what have you got? I've got a six as well. Oh, OK. All right, what's your six, Rob? Ration. Ration. OK, like we had in the war because you didn't step in early enough. <laughs> <laughs> People don't know this about me, but before I was a comedian, uh, I, I dabbled in magic. Are you a comedian? I didn't know that about you. <laughs> yeah, I went to Barcelona, or oh. Barcelona. <laughs> you like to pretend I've got a massive tongue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I had a lovely time. Um, I'd like tapas sangria, all the normal things, you know, happened in Barcelona. Got mugged. No, I didn't. <laughs> How did you find the famous Barcelona nightlife? Yeah, a, um, a stag party befriended me and they wanted... No, they did. They said, um, come and, um... Have you heard of stripper and a steak? No. Have you heard... What's stripper and a steak? I'd never heard of this. They said, Alan, hey, Alan, come, come with us. We're going to go and have strippers and a steak. I mean, how pissed do you have to be to think that Alan Carr is the missing piece of your pussy patrol? <laughs> 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 How's the steak? I didn't go. I'm not going to do that. It's demeaning, isn't it? It's a steak. <laughs> <laughs> Can I just say, I credit you for a very gentlemanly question. We went for strippers and a steak. How was the steak? That's my kind of guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I like my women like I like my steak. Rare. <laughs> you were recently trolled on Twitter, I believe, <gasps> by, by a certain Susie Dent. Yeah. Over your misuse of grammar. Tell, <laughs> tell us what happened. <laughs> Basically, I was tweeting. Don't want to show off, but I've been doing it. <laughs> and I tweeted something, and then everyone, you know, when all the idiots start chipping in because you spelt something slightly wrong or it's a mm. different turn of phrase. And then Susie had a go as well. <laughs> but the thing is, Twitter is. I, think, I think we've got them here. <laughs> I'll do it in your voice. All right. Come on here for a bit of light art. <laughs> bit of light-hearted Weatherham film-based bants, all of a sudden, everyone's on me case. Bring back Bebo. <laughs> <laughs> what did Susie come back with? You came back with, um... I needed a hyphen between light and hearted. <laughs> <laughs> is that true, though? Do I need a hyphen? Yeah. Why? <laughs> the problem is, I just say light-hearted. How do you say hyphen? How do you say the hyphen bit? You don't. What's the point? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's like you don't say a question mark. You don't yeah, but you do it, it in your voice. going to the shops. Well, if I went going to the shop... <laughs> no, but... It's your... Why is there a hyphen needed for that? Cos Susie says there exactly, is. Exactly. I'm yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry, I've sat here quite... <laughs> <laughs> Never question Dent's authority when I'm on this team. That's the yeah. first thing. Yeah. Any more jokes about Dictionary Corner being boring, someone's going to get fucking hurt. <laughs> the show before, but I've got to lay down some ground rules. <laughs> <laughs> question Dent, number one. Yeah. Simple as that. Yeah, but, no, but why is <laughs> it... <laughs> I, <don't... laughs> I didn't realise I think it was you stood up, then I sat down. <laughs> I wouldn't follow it through, I'm mathematic. <laughs> Rob. Uh, you're going to like this, Jimmy. Uh, I somehow have gotten worse throughout the show, and I got, literally, through effort, I got 4,500. <laughs> <laughs> I got 413, but I've just seen a, a glaring error at the beginning. That means I haven't got anything. So. <laughs> but okay. it was worth a call. But OK, no. so not, not great on your side. No, sorry. Let's check in over here. Sean, do you get it? Uh, not close enough, no. OK, Bill? Uh, I'm very freaked out by the last game and getting the number, so I got 19. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> you got 19. Can you show us you're working? How did you? Yeah. <laughs> I, I, 10 plus 9, and then I thought, oh, I might have used that, and then I freaked out. <laughs> <laughs> OK, this is, this is maybe the worst maths round there's ever been. <laughs> Paul Foot, you are our only hope. Did you get this? I did actually get it. Yeah. Oh! OK, how did you do it, Paul? Well, do we need to do it? I mean, it's trivial, isn't it? <laughs> Arithmetic. You know the answer's there. Mathematically, we can prove it. Let's just forget about it. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to do it, it's 1 plus 9 is 10. 1 plus 9 Oh, is... that degree wasn't wasted. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, multiplied by 50... Multiplied by 50, 500. Is 500. And the other 10 multiplied by the other 9 
Nine. is 90. Yeah. Oh, but then what? <laughs> <laughs> Why don't we just leave it? Just, let's just leave it and wonder Finish how, how I got it. No, cos Romish wants to know. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, Romish, you finish it off. See you can do it. You nod it in. You could do it. Come on, Romish, you tap it in. Be good uh, for your ego. Take the 75. <laughs> <laughs> Take, do you take away the 90 from the 500? Well, you could do. I, I would take it the other way and then multiply by the square root of minus one. <laughs> the square root of minus one. But, yeah, you can do it that way. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Richard, any major regrets in life? I think we're participating in one. <laughs> um, let's see how it pans out. Um, Richard, this is your third time on Cat Styles Countdown, and you've yet to win. Yes. Uh, are, are you going to do anything differently this evening? I think consistency is key <laughs> in light <coughs> entertainment. Um, <laughs> often there's a tendency to reach for excellence, but a life of excellence is a boring life. <laughs> um, I think we also need just comforting mediocrity. That's why I'm here. Um, that titter. It's the kind of laugh that comforts me. It's not a good laugh. It's not a laugh that says, oh, something funny happened. It just is kind of like a place marker. That something occurred. We'll acknowledge it. We didn't like it. <laughs> but time has passed. And if I can reflect that, well, that's something. Did you bring a mascot? It's a pictorial diary that I kept when I was at college. <laughs> And it was based on hieroglyphics. <laughs> My writing was such good, so I could put things down in pictorial form, but it was coded, and nobody would know what so, I was talking about. Yeah. I can't talk to all of them, cos some of them I don't quite remember. I was drinking rather heavily at the time. <laughs> really, I think, Johnny? I think this one represents impotence <laughs> and the social divide <laughs> between, um, obviously, some starfish I was trying to have sex with. <laughs> I don't know why I brought it in as a mascot. Yeah, how's that going to help you this evening? Because I wanted to bring an action man and you wouldn't let me because you couldn't clear it. <laughs> That's the real truth. I had a talking commander with the bike and the sidecar mm. and they said, oh no, we'll never get clearance for that. It's like he's still selling madly in the shops. <laughs> He's an action man, not an iPad. So I didn't have to come in and make myself emotionally naked by <laughs> showing these images of just how badly college went for me. Thanks a lot, Jimmy. <laughs> you could all just cross your hands like this and then hold, hold hands with the person opposite oh. or hold wrists. And then what, we touch tips, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> that all looks fine to me. We don't need to say much more other than you'll know what to do when it happens and you won't need words. Mm. <laughs> I suppose the only words you need are 21 stone, which is <laughs> what I mean. I mean, I am genuinely shit at myself. <laughs> <laughs> you found it. You found it, right? Yeah, yeah, we Greg, I don't want to... What did we learn from that? Well, that was to teach us something, wasn't well, it? Well, two things. You I, I didn't tell you what to expect and you, and you dealt with it. And the second thing you'll learn is never to question Dictionary Corner, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> Have you got a mascot? Uh, well, it's, more, it's a review, really, Jim. It's that time of the year. It's the end of the year, isn't it? And we all, we, we all think of the word of the year, which Susie will know this year is... Post-truth. Post-truth. But I've had a big year as well. I had a... Uh, we had a baby, I think it's the fairest way to say it. Even, yes, we did. Even... <laughs> <laughs> so I thought I'd do some of the words that I learnt this year that I didn't know before the year started. Um, so this is the first word I learnt this year. It's ten <laughs> letters. <laughs> and it's episiotomy. What's an episiotomy? Episiotomy is they take a... <laughs> <laughs> they, <laughs> they get some... A, sharp, a very sharp, and when the ladies um, <laughs> wide, and then they, they cut. I can't do that one. <laughs> cool. I think he's going to be fine. He's going to be fine. 
The next word I learned is perineum. <laughs> What's a perineum, John? Well, you, when you have your episiotomy, that's... They cut the... And it's, it's the bit. <laughs> so it's not the bit, and it's not the other bit. It's, it's sort of a, a middle bit. <laughs> you wouldn't ever think of it if you were a man. You wouldn't think, oh, there's a bit. You'd just think, oh, that bit, but not that bit. <laughs> and then sometimes... <laughs> <laughs> and then when the baby's born, the baby does a poo, and there's a word which is meconium, and that's... That's the first poo a baby does, and it's a shit so foul, it <laughs> has to have its own name. <laughs> it sticks to everything. <laughs> it's like the stuff they use to attach prizes to magazines. <laughs> like, shit! Well, you're pretty rock and roll, and Countdown isn't. How would you make this show kind of more... More kind of cool. Mm, don't know. You could, the desks could be on fire or something. <laughs> <laughs> Different host. <laughs>